All righty, Steel Nation, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. I hope you guys are doing well. Got some breaking news from our good mate out there, Alex Kazora. Hey, everybody. He says here the Steelers are releasing veteran slot cornerback, Yoziah. Is that how you pronounce it? Yoziah Scott. Uh, stock continues to, to rise for UDFA, Benny Bishop. And I will say, I have been, been seeing a lot of reports, a lot of good interviews with Benny Bishop. He's been doing the workload with the ones in, in the defense. But this does question now, at this point in training camp, the pad's gone tomorrow, so we're going to see some hard hitting, hopefully, you know, legally, of course, and hopefully no one gets injured. But tomorrow is when it really starts to ramp up in terms of, uh, you know, defensive tackle versus offensive line, receiver versus cornerback, linebacker versus tight end, backs versus backers, that kind of stuff. It's starting to ramp up, starting to be fun, and I wish I could be there. Uh, one big shout out to to my mate Bubba who went to uh, training camp yesterday from Steelers Dynasty podcast. He got he got a little bit of a clip from uh, Christian Forty Six, and I'm going to try and get the video out maybe today or tomorrow. Uh, and how and how that uh, I've challenged him to a pickleball game, and he wasn't too happy with the the the, the question or the challenge. But I do hope to get uh, 46 on the podcast. I'm talking to him, to, talking to his team. Uh, back and forth, but I know he's a very busy man, uh, you know, with, with his recent wedding and his training camp now. Things are ramping up with Steel and Asian. It's really finally, it, it's getting to the fun part where we are seeing the quarter, quarterback, uh, Russell Wilson, not just yet, but we're seeing passes, running drills, receiver drills, all that kind of stuff. Right. So with the breaking news today, uh, Steelers are releasing a veteran slot cornerback, uh, Scott. I think he played for the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm looking at the pro football reference now. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles, uh, Jacksonville, he's played like 39 games. So I don't think as well, I'm not too sure that he played last year. I think he might have been picked up last year, maybe on the practice squad. I never, I don't think I ever saw him. Let me know in the comments below if you did. I didn't, don't think I saw him last year on the actual field. So they released him, which means that, you know, Beanie Bishop's been getting more reps, uh, the first team slot reps in the first four practices. What's going to happen next when the pads go on? But here's something really curious too, right? And then the, here's a speculation mode we're going to be in for a few moments, maybe a few days, maybe a week or so, right? There's 90 men on the roster that are allowed to be on the roster. They've just cut one. Now, the Steelers have an international pathway program with, with Julius, Julius Welshkoff. He's also, he doesn't affect part of the roster, right? He also doesn't, doesn't affect, I think, part of the practice squad. So you have 91 players who can turn in, who are now 90 players. So there's an open spot. An open spot, do they bring back and go and fill in that role of cornerback, slot cornerback, nickelback? Uh, do they go and bring back a, a, a Patrick Peterson, who's a veteran guy? Because remember, Cameron Sutton is out, what, eight games, nine games? Then he's back like week 10. So and that, that, that even depends if Cameron Sutton is going to make the team. Now, we haven't heard too much news around Cameron Sutton in terms of uh, football things. I've been hearing a lot about Beanie Bishop. I've been hearing some good things about Darius Rush, you know, other cornerbacks there, JPJ. This 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 room is quite young, right? When I say that, I'm still young myself being 34, but these players are around 24, 25, 26. Quite young for a, for a cornerback room. With this move, right, with this um, release of Scott, gives him a chance to go around other training camps and all these other players are getting released from. You'll see them everywhere. Off the, off, they're getting picked up from the waiver wire. Our teams are cutting players. It's, it's one big crazy, crazy moment where, where you're trying to get from 90 men or 91 men down to 53, and players are getting cut everywhere. So it gives him a chance to go and find another team at cornerback in the NFL, or maybe next year in the UFL. But the thing is, I'm trying to think about is who's going. Who is Omar Khan going to sign? Do they go? On, I'm not. I'm not saying receiver. I'm not saying train for AUK, but I'm sure there's a there's a when you cut a player, there's another move after that, and that could be bringing back Patrick Peterson. That could be bringing bringing in another cornerback who's a vet to help out the team, right? They always would would like to bring in another player to fill up that 90 man roster to see who they can evaluate all these different players. So I thought that was pretty interesting how they did that. Steelers releasing veteran slot cornerback. Uh, Scott, which means they have a bit more faith and showing faith in Beanie Bishop, undrafted guy who's getting the most reps at, at first team. 
But who else will they bring in into that role being the slot corner? And there's games coming up. There's Texas, uh, Tex- uh, Houston Texans. There's Bills. There's the Lions as well. Three games, three preseason games. There's more practices with pads on. There's the team trying to get better in the offseason, trying to find their identity and build something for a chance to go and win Super Bowls. So who do they pick up in the next, I don't know, few days? Let me know in the comments below what you think. I think there could be a slight chance they might go after Pat P, bring him into the building. Maybe he's part of the 53. Maybe he's around the time when you have Cameron Sutton and Pat P there. I don't know. But may- maybe there's a chance where they bring in a vet guy to, to help out the the blokes like Beanie Bishop and, and, and undrafted guys like him in that scenario. Uh, can you rely on an on a undrafted guy playing slot corner at that position? Let me know in the comments below what you think. 